and welcome to Let's Fly VFR and guess what it's beta 3 release day so we're back as we have been for the last few reviews of the latest betas for 11.30 as we head towards a, uh, a full release lots of bugs have been fixed up in this particular release uh, a few of the, um, the major ones maybe if you're flying in and out of Dubai they have added some scenery so that's not a bug but it's uh, it's the only new airport that they've included for us there was a few other bugs with the um, order uh, with the ATC and it wouldn't give you a, an altimeter reading before you'd filed a flight plan apparently um, there's been a few particle system fixes so um, it was crashing on a couple of different occasions with that and in fact in beta 2 um, we didn't see if you remember me messing around in beta 1 uh, release the all the nice little streams of uh, we were getting back the particle streams back from the wing tips and from the join here where the strut meets the wing um, that all disappeared but it was it's a known bug one of the other my other subscribers did actually contact uh, uh, the X-Plane people at Lamina and they said yes we're aware of it and uh, maybe it's been fixed so maybe we'll change the weather in a minute and see if we can't make some contrails again or make some trails but let's have a quick look in with a quick flight again around my favourite Parafield Airport. So let's do a quick, we'll just do a quick check. Now, uh, David did had a go at me during the week about not following uh, checklists. So, David, you're just going to have to live with it today. <laughs> but when we do some more decent flights, uh, I'm interested to know, guys. Um, I know I'm a little conscious that uh, your time is precious as well when you come to watch me with a with a flight here on the channel um, would you prefer that I do go through all the checklists because I would normally do that uh, but I've been thinking well maybe just to save time and not to bug you guys wasting time um, I would uh, avoid that I haven't seen other people doing it other youtubers haven't haven't seen too many of those going through the whole bits and pieces but if that's something you'd like please just comment in the uh, comments below and uh, let me know what what you think so let's let's just check everything quickly so we need uh, we need to make sure we've got some fuel we got some temperatures are good we've got bows good that's fine put the brakes on oh and unusually my uh, my pedals are uh, not working there we go I put my brakes on and we'll just check that everything comes up and we get some vacuum we get some volts coming up a little yep that's all good vacuum and everything's good there Have, haven't got much wind today just about none I think it's about right that's about right we don't need to worry about any of this stuff at the moment we don't need any flaps and our trim is set to neutral so let's get up and have a bit of a look they didn't make any mention of uh, expected performance increases and what I'm seeing at the moment um, I'm not I'm not getting any it would seem at the moment I'm oh we're, we're doing the squeak again okay let's get that going pedals moved a little 50 knots 55 knots 60 knots and not my best takeoff so let's climb out nice and easily aiming for BY which is about 75 earth knots as we climb out past Parafield and I noticed there's a bit of shimmering going on there and maybe that's something else I'll have a quick chat about as well um, I've had a few people question me about the DSR that I've been talking about and not everyone knows what it is so DSR is it's probably a little bit older technology from uh, NVIDIA and what it is it's a really it's a form of anti-aliasing Thing. you know it's what it does is a little bit reversed of some of the other versions of anti aliasing that we have out there and, and in X-Plane I'll talk about X-Planes in a moment um, they downscale and then play with the picture to try and join up the little dots that we we try not to see and uh, and they put colors around where the spaces are so if you can think of a staircase going up from right to left if you like and um, each little line is made up of a little square block it's not made up of a straight line at all as, as I'm sure you're aware so that's what we get these little artifacts and things happen in our in our games that we play so what um, anti aliasing tries to do is where the the two little corners of two boxes join 
it tries to put something from the surrounding area, a colour or a shape or a something, um, from there in to try and just make that little line uh, as yeah, that's moved around again on me. Um, just to make that line a little bit level, a uh, level a little bit straighter. Sorry, I'm just being messed around by my um, pedals again. Decided to stop working for some reason. Okay, let me just try and level this out. Now, one thing, I, I had a quick flight before, and I put on the um, autopilot, and then I couldn't turn it off. Yeah, it does seem to be the way. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but this has changed. Normally, um, I'm just going to fly it that way. So this seems to be an issue. I'm getting the finger, and I don't seem to be able to turn this damn autopilot off. I can get an altitude hold. So it's it's telling me it's trimming. It's trimming up, trimming down. See, these are, are all new too. This is stuff that um, wasn't around previously. And there's a couple of other things that uh, are new that also weren't around previously. Now, let's just take a quick look at... Um, I'll show you my settings as well, because everyone always wants to know what you got. So... This is where I am currently, so I'm high on the visual effects because um, I wanted the HDR, the texture quality is up reasonably high um, but, but I do note that I still have some space in my VRAM to fill up so that might go up again but as always it's balancing that performance, number of world objects, I've got that medium detail here. Um, now this is something that is new, I'm positive I didn't see this previously, this is your base font size and why do you need that if you're playing as I have been recently with the dynamic super resolution or DSR now I didn't finish explaining that did I what the DSR DSS, DSR does is it takes your image it upscales it to 4k and then through smart technology compresses it down back down to your 1080p monitor so you're getting essentially a 4k view on your screen so but there is a penalty with all of these things and I was playing with the um, uh, anti aliasing to see what sort of effects and I can if I have this back at my stock setting which my, my monitor as many of you probably aware is a 1680 by 1050 so it's it's been around a while and it was just before 1080p was coming in so as always it needs to fall off the table so I can get a newie but until then um, it does work pretty well um, but what it does do, if I go back here, and this will do it in real time for us, you can see how that's scaled. And this is also something new as well, your user interface. You can scale this because what happens when you go to select uh, 4K, which is just a little bit more than the 21, it's 2160 or something. Um, when you do that, the whole interface here scales to about a quarter. And that's what it's doing. Once you've done it once, it doesn't tend to do it very much, but if we do that, if we go, okay, we're going to reselect the, the 4K. See how that does that? Providing the system doesn't crash, there we go. Um, it's gone a lot smaller. Now, if you find that difficult to see, you can scale it up to 150, or you can go 200, and also you can change the base font size. I find the DSR, if you set it at its times 4, it's X4, and you set it at uh, zero on the smoothness and I'll go and have a look at that for you and show you that too in a moment because there seems to be a lot of questions on that. This is turning into a, uh, a DSR video, isn't it? As opposed to a, <laughs> a Beta 3, isn't it? But anyway, it, it's just stuff people have been asking me. I've been getting lots of questions on this the last week or so. So I can get this up to about here before I start seeing any FPS loss, which is pretty good. And the, uh, the different versions, uh, just if you're not sure, the FXAA is the newest version that's out there. And then if you come up here, we see SSAA. Now, the SSAA is much older, but they're using a combination of both of those. Um, and how they work exactly, I don't care as long as they work. That's the main thing for me. So we're up here. So let's go back and have a bit of a look. And have a look at the scenery, I guess while we're here in this this is a 4k DSR so you can compare if you've got your anti-aliasing set up well 
to be honest, it is a little hard, hard to see any real big differences. It's very smooth, it's very crisp. I can see it shimmering just a little bit through the screen at the moment, which you may not see uh, on the recording, but it's pretty good. You can see the glass, looks very realistic. You can see reflections in here. You can see the ground reflections in there, which is really nice. It's not clear, but you can see that there is a reflection in there. And around the fuselage as well, it looks really good. So, performance wise, um, I've seen, I haven't seen any improvement on that side of things. So, uh, as far as looks, if this is going well, and I did have a number of crashes playing the last week with Beta 2, so um, again, I can't say that that was system, or whether it was a combination of system and X-Plane, I'm not sure, but I hadn't previously had too many issues with crashes, so, um, so let's, uh, let's just take a side trip, and um, we'll go down to the, come down here and we'll grab the... Um, NVIDIA control panel. Let's see if we can get that to show up. It's having a bit of a, a moment showing up for me. Is it going to do that? No, it's not going to do that. Go away. Let's give it a try. Come on. It's not going to show up for me. Damn. Alright, well I'm going to get out of here because really I don't think there's much to show you guys and I don't think there's any point just flying around me dribbling uh, about the Beta 3 when there doesn't seem to be anything too major. Um, on the on the front for us performance wise it has remained steady this I think must be something new because I'm clicking the hell out of that and it ain't going away so if I put it on that one that works if I put it on this it works if I put it on this it works there now I notice this does that you have to slide it I don't know but I haven't worked out how to turn it off yet I can't do anything if I go full left I oh, know. All right. Okay, it's off. So, what's the indication? All right, I'm going to look at that a little later. Right, let's get out of X Plane, and let me take you to Nvidia Control Panel, just so I can show you the DSR side of things. This is, it, it's always going to be personal preference, guys. Which one um, you use, whether you like to try out the DSR. If you want to do that, it is very simple to do. Um, if you're and you must have an NVIDIA card, that's got to be pretty obvious, but um, down here you have your DSR factors and you turn them on and then you have a whole range of drop downs. I honestly think 4K, this one here, or four times your native resolution is the one to use if you're going to use it. I don't see any point in using half of it. And also if you use half of it, my text and everything here all gets messed up pretty badly, but if I have it in the 4K setting, um, and my desktop is not in 4K, I don't think, currently. And the other control you have here is the slider. So you can move this smooth. This blurs it up a bit. This makes it crisper. Um, I hear a lot of people go, oh, yeah, well, I like it about the 20 or the 10. Personally, I think if you're going to have it crisp, you have it all the way crisp. So I have it right in at zero. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, if you want to use the DSR, if you want to use your, uh, the different variations of the... Uh, anti-aliasing within the system uh, a quick check if you <coughs> have it at uh, you, say your stock setting or my stock setting um, I found it made 23 24 FPS with the settings that you just saw and it didn't drop back until they hit it right towards the very top and then it dropped back to under 20 so you can go a fair way up have a really crisp a really clear picture and um, and good performance as well so well, I think that's really all we need to chat about, guys. I um, really appreciate you coming on. Appreciate everyone coming and supporting the channel of late. I cannot believe that Let's Fly VFR has doubled in subscribers. With a with a big thanks again to Crash Lobby and his channel out there. Please check him out and give him lots of likes and subscribes. If you've not been over there, he's very entertaining. Uh, and we've gone from well, well over 600 now. Uh, from 300 only about six weeks ago so that's really amazing and thank you to all you guys for continuing to return and watch my videos and uh, and introducing new people obviously if you uh, like my videos please share them out 
you're more than welcome to share them on Facebook pages. Get the word out there for me. Really appreciate it. R really appreciate it. So, um, thank you again. If you're new here and this is the first time you've heard me ramble on, then feel free to hit that subscribe button for some more rambling. And if you're back here again for another dose, then as always, thank you for your support. And I'll catch you back here again real soon at Let's Fly VFR.